I'm Cameron Thompson with Academy Sports and Outdoors. I am the product developer for the camo apparel here. And today we are actually kicking off the Women in Hunting series. And I have a special co-guest here with me today. Hi, I'm Daily Danker um, and I have been a co-host with Blue Ventures for quite a while now with my dad and Daniel. Um, we are actually getting ready to get going on some hunts. I have an elk hunt coming up this next week, so we're pretty excited about that. So exciting, a little jealous there, but it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so really and truthfully, like kind of looking at the overall passing down of traditions today. And with that, you know, how, how has this been a tradition within your family and your bloodline? So my dad um, has been hunting just as long as I, I as I've been alive, honestly. Um, he's been hunting for a really long time. And so when uh, I was about eight or so, I went to dad and I was like, hey, you know, I, I want to try hunting. Um, he tried to be good about like not pressuring me into it because he, he knew that he was super passionate about it and he didn't want to put that on me. But if I wanted to hunt, he wanted me to come to him. And so I did, I came to him at eight and we went turkey hunting. And that was kind of my first thing to do. Um, after that, uh, I went turkey hunting and I shot a turkey. And then I went and I started deer hunting after that. And that was so much fun. And it was a lot more nerve wracking as a, a little kid because the animal's way bigger than a turkey. <laughs> and just so, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just a little. <laughs> yeah. And so, I mean, I got my first doe at 10 and that was like very exciting. It was right there on our home property too. That was uh, very special. And then I got my first buck on one of my dad's leases in Northwest Oklahoma. And that was super special too. Um, he was gonna try and help me uh, to get the gun up and everything and aim and stuff like that. But he was having to film. So he was like, Jaylee, I will pay you a hundred bucks if you can shoot this deer by yourself. <laughs> That's like something your dad would say most definitely. Yes, yes. <laughs> and so I was like, all right. So I ended up, I made a great shot on the deer and we ended up finding them that night. And then that started a whole snowball effect to my, the rest of my life. I've just been hunting and I've enjoyed every bit of it. That's awesome. So, I mean, this is really like deeply rooted in your family. Like this is a hard tradition. Yeah. So do you see yourself really carrying this tradition on in your family and in the rest of yeah. your life, I guess? Yeah, I definitely do. Um, hunting has taught me so much, not only just, you know, about like being out in nature and getting to observe uh, the you know, animals uh, between birds and deer and all that different stuff. Um, it's really taught me a lot of character qualities, you know, with, between patience and endurance and stuff like that. And I think they'd be great to pass down to my kids and, you know, a great way to get out and be able to do something that's fun, um, but something that has a goal and that is set and that you can um, try to achieve. And then through that, it shows you uh, different character qualities that you're going to have to learn. So I definitely see me passing this on to my kids. And Awesome. All right. Well, Julia, we are so honored to have been able to have you here with us today. Um, everybody stay tuned. We are going to be here every Tuesday of, for the month of October um, going through our new uh, Women in Hunt series. Um, and we can't wait to see everybody back here again. All right. Thank Bye. you. Bye.